Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. I've got a good one for you today. Going to get into uh, Andy Ruiz and Jarrell Big Baby Miller, which would be an intriguing fight. Before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Whoa. Um, the spot dollars a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the perks. It gets you to ask the bookie anything. It gets you updated props. It gets you request request the fight. Request uh, a video. I'll break it down for you. I'll show you how to make money in any single place. You get the absolute best betting advice in the sport of boxing at that Patreon. Just five dollars a month. The link is in the description. It's also in the ticket below. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Let's get into Andy Ruiz. And this is an interesting fight. This is the, the fight that uh Jarrell, Big Baby Miller, steroid use made possible. Uh, he was supposed to fight with Anthony Joshua for the heavyweight title in uh, 2019. He tested positive for every single steroid you could possibly test for. Uh, so that fight was off. Andy Ruiz filled in last minute, knocked out AJ, and the rest is history. Uh, but now here we are, you know, five years later, whatever it may be. Andy Ruiz, Jarrell, Big Baby Miller in uh, what should be a fairly entertaining fight. Andy Ruiz, pretty good fighter, pretty good speed, pretty good boxing skill, combination puncher. Clean. He's got good skills. He's got good speed. Got good pop. He's a decent fighter. Nice, clean one-two. Um, obviously, he, he has you know surprising speed. You don't expect a guy his size, that out of shape, that overweight, to be able to move the way he does. Big power in the right hand. I really like his right hand. He knows how to throw it. He throws it from different angles. He knows how to throw it from a variance of angles um, and speeds. I really like his right hand. It's got a lot of pop in it. Gets a little wild. Uh, he's easy to hit at times, which which we've seen. Uh, we saw it with Ortiz. We saw it with, with Anthony Joshua. More comfortable coming forward. He, he can box off the back foot and go forward, but when he's at his best, I think he's coming forward. Um, and I think he needs to do that. I think he needs to bring the fight to the slower drill, Big Baby Miller. Will keep his hands in his pocket. If he's uh, not in his rhythm, if he's not comfortable, if he's standing outside, he can, like we saw this with Ortiz, he'll keep his hands in his pocket. We saw with Anthony Joshua, he won't let his hands go. So he needs to get on the inside. That's where he needs to be. That's where he does his best work. He's aging. He's been inactive. He fatigued. Uh, seemed to be the fatigue seemed to be an issue with Ortiz, and he won the fight. He beat a good fighter who was well into his forties, but you could see he was not the same fighter that he was years ago. He's been active, and it seems to be taking its effect on him. He's got good, not great skills from the outside, right? Like he's good from the outside. He's he's not amazing from the outside. He can be outboxed. He can be outjabbed. But I don't think that's going to be an issue with Big Baby Miller. His punch output is dipping. His timing looked off with Ortiz. And we have nothing else to really judge him on. His head's so line. He's easy to counter. And he needs to change up his cadence. right? He needs a, a little more punch variety. He, he's pretty predictable. Um, his combinations and his timing are the same, the same, the same, the same, the same. So there needs to be a little more variance in him. He's a guy that he can be countered because of it. Let's get to Drell Big Baby Miller. And Drell Big Baby Miller has disgraced himself, obviously, but he's not a terrible fighter. He looked and, and aged and it was slow in the Dubois fight. He's a come forward stalker. He's a huge, massive human being that marches forward and his punch output has dropped. So now he's just a slow, plotting guy that comes after you without throwing 100 punches. He's throwing 100 punches. He's have crazy punch output. But that's when he was on the source. And now he's not. And you can see what it's taken out of him. He gets hit a lot. He's sloppy. He's slow. 
he's swarming, right? He just comes at you. He's plotting. Slow and easy to hit. Just walks right in. He doesn't use any angles. He's works behind his jab a little bit. Um, he's slow and easy to hit. He's, he's just he just walks he tries to walk in the front door. Comes in face first a lot, right? He uses his face to block shots, and we saw this a lot with Dubois. If he couldn't handle Dubois, but he's not going to be able to handle Ruiz's speed. He looks slow in ace. He looks stationary and flat-footed. He seems to tire and fatigue really early in that fight, maybe after the fourth round of the show. But he's still durable as hell. He still takes a great shot. He just seems to be eating shots. Like, he just eats them. He's got a great forward. He's a come forward. He's got a great chin. He comes forward. He eats a lot of shots. And the punches behind there that he used to wear you down and break you down with between age and not being on the steroids, it's really, really taking its toll on him. He still has power. There's not much else. He still has some skills from the outside. He can still put combinations together. He just can't sustain it. He can't put it together for long periods of time. And he definitely can't do it for, you know, 10, 12 rounds. So I don't really see much of a path to victory for him. Let's take a look at the line. The line's not great. This is a great bet to add to your parlay. This fight really, really can make your parlay because the odds are not minus 354 Ruiz. I, I love Ruiz in this fight. I'd make this a two times bet. A $200 bet makes you $57.14. Not bad. I like it to go to the distance. Like I said, Miller, if anything, is is durable. And let's take a look at the props when they drop. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. $5 a month will get you the updated props. I think I want to take the over. Not the distance because I think uh, Miller may get stopped very late in the fight. But I want to take the over because it's either – going to be released by very late stop, but George is going to go the distance. So I, I like the over in this fight. So let's take that. It's a great fight to add to your poll at minus 350. Join the Patreon, get the lock of the week. And also, um, two times bet, uh, $200 bet would make you 57.14. Great bet to add to your parlay. It's a great bet to build your parlay around. You, know, you put this, you put Terrence Crawford, you start to move your odds down. We pick something else up. Um, and, and you, got, you got a really, really good parlay going. Andy Cruz by stoppage, something like that um, would, would, would pay pretty well. But join the Patreon when the props come out. Let's take a look at the over on this. I really want to take a look at the over, see what the odds are on that. All right, y'all. That's it. Uh, appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please smash the like button on the way out. It is August 1st, 2024 from Texas. To the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet.